hey, the president came out with a great idea the other day on how you need to be saving money when you go to the food store. And I'm going to talk about that in this video right here. Also, we're going to be talking about Dollar General. They're under major fire right now because shoppers are beginning screwed. You think you're getting a great deal and everything else? This is a very serious problem, folks. And we're going to cover that here in a few minutes. Also, you have Walmart and Kroger. And what they're looking to do to replace the meat products with something else. And Bill Gates isn't behind it. Go figure. And then you also have Walmart that's in the news because they changed one of their major policies. It's been out for just a few weeks. And what they're doing now is costing you more money and you don't even know it if you don't pay attention to what is going on on your bill when you do your ordering. If you have it delivered to your home, you could be paying out the rear end particular products that you order that they don't have. And then on top of that with Walmart also here in the state of Florida, but it's coming to a town near you because Walmart wants every penny you have from your retail to your food and everything else down to your health care. That's right, folks. I said health care. We're covering all these topics starting right now. Okay, folks. As you can see here, Biden is suggesting people struggling to afford groceries can buy generic brand food to save money. That's right, folks. He wants you to go out. He wants you to go out and buy your non-name brand foods. That's what he's looking for you to do. It says President Joe Biden this week suggested that Americans struggling to afford basic necessities like groceries can switch off to off-brand products in order to save money. Admit record inflation. Yes, that is the answer to all of our problems, folks, is you just go out there and you buy all the off-brand products. All right, you come down here. And he was talking about, you know, the president made this insertion during uh, an interview that he had, right? And then on the consumer goods, including food, Biden said the price of beef and eggs, etc. is not the basically a main driver of food prices. Although those goods are up, he admitted. In packaged goods, he argued, you're going to see people not buying Kellogg's Raisin Bran you're going to see them buying other raisin bran, which is going to be a dollar cheaper. So you get to save a dollar. Isn't it just like the federal government to come up with some ridiculous thing to tell you that if you just start buying all the off name brand products out there, you are going to save a ton of money and you won't have to worry about the high inflation. Nope. Not going to happen, folks. Then we talk about Dollar General here. Dollar General is on fire for doing this to shoppers. And this is a very serious problem, folks. There's a lot of people out here that have been shopping at the Dollar General, Dollar Tree, uh, Family Dollar, all these different stores to try to save money and stuff. And comes out, they are, uh, they're screwing you. Uh, the, the chain is under fire for doing this to all its shoppers and stuff and what it's been doing is is raising the prices they don't change their prices and stuff and we're going to scroll right down here where the article is where they talk about it right down here and it starts right here according to the newspaper a few examples of the reported price differences include nestle coffee make creamer scanning at 435 despite being listed for two bucks Hefty solo cups having a shelf price of $4.25, but scanning at the register at $5.95. Purdue chicken strips priced at $7.95, but are being sold for $10.75. And Pillsbury Grand Biscuits being listed on the shelf as $3, but scanning at $3.75. You see, folks, this company, for some reason, charged a lot more money and they're not doing anything about it until they got caught. They got caught with their hand in the cookie jar and now they're paying the price because a lot of people are ticked off and now there's a huge internal investigation going on inside of Dollar General to find out where else this is all taking place and why and they're trying to rectify the situation and make things good. But they've already took all your money and everything else. So 
Be careful if you're shopping at Dollar General. Make sure that you're checking all your store prices. Now let's move on over here. This is major, folks. There's a major update as Walmart and Kroger roll out new food products that could change the way you eat. And we're talking about meat. What they are looking to do, as it says <clears throat> right here, Beyond Meat are launching their new item in the chain stores nationwide as is selected Albertsons and A-Hole Divisions. All right, so what they're doing is they're rolling out all the Beyond Meat. The plant-based food company are in introducing Beyond Steak in a bid to expand their beef substitute section. Beyond Steak will be frozen, seared, and chopped into bite-sized chunks. It says the chief innovation officer at Beyond Meat said Beyond Steak is highly anticipated expansion of our popular beef platform and we're proud to introduce this innovative product to the consumers nationwide. These are going to be rolling out to all the different Walmarts and Kroger's, Albertsons and everything else and they want to try to get you to stop buying red meat and start buying plant-based foods. Walmart also is still in the news here. Walmart customers are slammed with a major policy change that could add to your bill unless you reject it. Now I'm talking about if you place an order online, you're going to have it delivered or if you're going to pick it up at curbside pickup. What you have to be aware of is when they tell you their substitutions for the items that you have picked. So if you don't want any substitutions, when you go in, you want to make sure you're checking the box where it says no substitutions or anything else. You just don't get any products because what they're doing is that they don't have the one product that you wanted. Say you wanted a, a six ounce can of something and all they had was a 12 ounce can. Well, they're going to give you the 12 ounce can at the 12 ounce price. They used to give you the 12 ounce can at the six ounce price because that's what you ordered. They didn't charge you the difference because they didn't have the product in the shelf. So now they don't have a lot of products in the shelves. They have problems keeping stuff in stores in certain areas and everything else. And this is causing a lot of problems. They're losing a lot of money. So guess what? That is no longer, you're going to pay the higher price. And if you're not checking out your bill, before you pick up the goods or before they finalize it or anything else, you are going to get charged a lot more money at stake here out of your pocket that you weren't planning for. So you have to pay close attention if you are ordering to either have it delivered or if you're ordering and having curbside pickup because you have no control if you do not check that box that says you want no substitutions. All right, and then finally, guess what, folks? Yes, Walmart is getting into healthcare. Wow. Did anybody see that one coming? Especially down here in Florida. Walmart announces they are expanding their base. The stores will give thousands of shoppers even more options. Now in some of your Walmarts, you can have your blood drawn. Uh, you can get your nails done. Uh, you can get your hair cut, your eyes checked. They have a pharmacy. Um, they have food. Um, they have all kinds of stuff. And now we're going to start putting in healthcare offices right inside of your Walmarts. All right, as you can see right here, Walmart has announced they'll be opening healthcare clinics in Jacksonville, Florida by 2023. All right, they're opening up several of these in Florida. All right, in addition to multiple health care clinics opening in Florida, they already have 32 centers across Arkansas, Georgia, Illinois, and Texas. Guess what, folks? Walmart wants every penny you have. Isn't it quite ironic that now they're getting into health care? You have to realize, where is the money at? Health care. You know what I'm saying? They're going to want everything. It's going to be your one-stop shop. Your large malls and everything else have been closing up for years. And what is taking place now? Walmart is going to take over. It's going to be like a little mall inside of a store. It's going to offer you everything that you do need. I'm going to put all these articles up here so you all can read these. But this is just quite amazing, isn't it? What is taking place? We have the 
So, as you guys can all see here, there's a lot of crazy stuff that's going on out here between with Biden, with Walmart, with Kroger, Albertsons, how they all want to do everything, how Dollar General is basically screwing everybody out there. You have to be on top of your game nowadays. You have to make sure that you are prepared, but you also have to make sure you're not getting screwed in your preps. All right. Every penny counts as we are speaking. Prices are going up and... If you're buying the off-brand stuff and all this kind of trying to save money, that is fine. We all do it. You know, it, it is what it is. But for the administration to come out and make that a statement that this is how people can deal with these high prices is just ridiculous. Okay. And Walmart getting into the healthcare business. What's the world coming to now? So we just got to be prepared, folks, because there's a lot of stuff going down out here. And it's just getting crazier by the week, it seems like. So until next time, folks, I hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Thank you for all that you do for my channel. And I thank you for all the likes, subscribes, and make sure you give me a thumbs up on the way out. And I will talk to you all on the flip side.